Hi everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Um, so last time out we finished heading through the third? Yes. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, fuck. Uh, third dungeon of the game, Key Cavern. And yeah, this part is pretty much going to be nothing but uh, item collection uh, as well as getting uh, set up for the next dungeon, um, which is in a brand new area. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't remember the name of the next dungeon, if I'm honest. Uh, but basically, <laughs> uh, yeah, but basically we're basically, uh, this part we're going to be um, heading to various places and getting pretty much set up for the next dungeon section. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. So, here, I hate these things. <coughs> Sorry. They're pretty much in every 2D Zelda game and they're just they're such a pain in the dick. Because I don't think you can kill them. And um, they cause so much fucking damage when they hit you. Um, and they're kind of a pain to deal with. Got 50 rupees, nice. And my rupee collection is steadily growing. And we got ourselves another heart piece. And that means we go up another... We get an extra heart. Look at that. We're now up to nine. Yeah. I can never remember the name of these bastards either. They're such a... I think they're in every 2D Zelda. Because, you know, we wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't want to have, like, good enemies, which are all right to deal with or anything like that, would we? Anyway, back in the Khufu Prairie. <coughs> my apologies, my throat is a bit shit. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've recorded this, so I kind of don't know what we have to do well, next. Oh, I do. I remember now. Fuck. <laughs> We're going to go into this. This is the... Um, this is the Dream Shrine. There you go. Basically, you can get into bed and go to sleep. <laughs> and that's the end of the game. Uh, see you for the next playthrough. No. Uh, so basically, we go in here and we've got an, uh, a new area for us to go to. Yeah, I'm not really using my brain here. There you go. So what you want to do here is you want to rush past these areas, killing all the enemies on the way across. I must have hit the corner of the uh, wall there. And knocked back into a Guardian Acorn. Fuck. Which means we've stopped this music again. So what we want to do is we want to head up here. And I think this is rupees. We've got 100 rupees. Nice. Uh, but the main thing that we need is over here. Um, because pretty much every Zelda game requires you get some kind of musical instrument. And um, this game is no exception. We get an ocarina, um, which I believe. I'm trying to remember. Um, no, there was an ocarina in Link to the Past, so it wasn't the first one. <coughs> Sorry, it wasn't the first game to evolve an ocarina. Um, but this was, uh, I think, a couple of years before Ocarina of Time. Um, basically, what need 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 there, <laughs> me brain. What we need the ocarina for is to learn various songs, uh, so that we uh, to open up different areas. So we're going to talk to Marin. Hi, Marin. How are you? Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? Sure. I love how it's actual singing in this version of the game. <laughs> Before it was just like a. 8-bit noise. <laughs> so it is kind of nice that she, uh, you know, have a actual singing voice. And I... Uh, makes this sound sound even better to me. 
It sounds really nice. That's why I love this game so much. It's just uh, brimming with personality. So how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Sure. <laughs> so what we've learned is the Ballad of the Windfish. Uh, so that's the song that we need uh, at the end of the game to uh, to awake the windfish. Please remember the song. You should play it. Uh, blah blah blah. Anyway. <laughs> So now what we need to do is we need to head off, and we need to head, uh, try and find the next area that we need to go to, the next dungeon, um, where the next dungeon is. But I think first we're going to head to the Seashell Mansion, so let's head there. Uh, I can't remember if we actually do stuff or whether I'm just warping there to make it easier to move. Yeah, I'm just warping to make it easier to uh, get to the next area that we need to go to. Uh, can't wait till I power myself power myself up. I'll have a very soon. So yeah, if you're running low on health, you see a tree that's got apple on there. <coughs> Sorry, if you see a tree that's got apples on there. Uh, basically, you run into it using your Pegasus boots, and you can knock the apples down and eat them to restore a little bit of health. It's kind of useful. Eh, motherfucker. Right. So yeah, then we need to break down this bush and enter through this tunnel. Uh, and that takes us to the new area which we need to go to. Oh! <gasps> hard container. It's a hard piece. Let's get going. So here we are. We're finally in the next area where uh, we need to be in. Which is the animal village. So cool because there's a lot of animals. Something that I kind of like about this as well is that the... Uh, Hang on a minute. Hi-ho. Hey, you. Is that possibly a honeycomb you have? I just ran out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? Sure. A bear has a pineapple. And that's the next sex part of the um, trading quest. Hi-ho. Yeah, I know that tub of goo is asleep right in the way to Yana Desert. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up with her singing. Yeah. That slob should wake would wake up with a jump if he heard a sing for sure. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much that's the next thing we need to do. But um, so yeah, this is Animal Village. This is the next area. But um, we've got to, let's open this up first. Let's activate this warp point so we can get here instantly. And of course, it makes it a lot easier because we can just uh, warp straight to the area just outside the village, and then use the village to. Um, find uh, and then you know teleport Marin here pretty quickly oh fuck I hate these guys they're so irritating all right let's keep going yeah uh, so here for a little bit I kind of get lost because I want to try and get this um, heart piece and uh, I think I cut pretty soon. Do I? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> Come on, Tom, cut. <laughs> Shit. Where do I go? But as I say, I really like the music here because it's like a dog bark. It's kind of cool. Yeah, there, there's the cut. Um, <laughs> so I finally f uh, I messed around for a good like 10 or 15 minutes. And um, we're finally here, so we need to wake up that fat piece of shit. But first, we're going to head this way. Uh, so yeah, I think I... Do I open this area up? Yeah, I do. I remember. I, d I played this. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we can't really do anything with this yet. We need the... Um, yeah, we need the hook shots to be able to do anything there, so it's kind of a pointless thing to go into now. But I thought I'd just open it up, just to, you know, show it off. <clears throat> so there we go, we got a piece of heart. Uh, and I think that's really all we can really uh, get in Animal Village, for now anyway. So... Now we're going to head all the way around and we're going to... Let's talk to this fat piece of shit. 
thinking of Marin while he's sleeping. What a perv. Anyway. <laughs> so, basically, before we can move on, because the Yana Desert is where we need to head to to get the key for the fourth dungeon. Uh, so what we need to do is we're going to need to walk to the Ikuku Prairie and we're going to go find Marim. <clears throat> so let's uh, head to the head to the village. I wanted to say Khan Village there. That's, not, that's, that's fucking Overlord. Um, <laughs> anyway, Mabe Village. There we go. Fuck, where did that come from? So if we talk to this little shit, huh? Marion's not with you. What happened to her? You piece of shit. Yeah, I thought. Oh, maybe if I talk to him again. Nope. Shit. All right. Um, I don't think we're going to talk to anybody else. Basically, she's uh, by the beach. They're still playing with that ball. Uh, so we've got to head down to the beach, and we'll go talk to her. So let's get going. Yeah, I th do I screw this up? No, I'm all right. I'm all right for now. <laughs> I almost ran into that fucker there. <laughs> oh, fucking crabs! Nobody likes you. Go away. All right, let's go find her. She's sitting on a log. I remember that. Let's talk to her. Oh, Link, I'm glad you found this place. Are you staying tall on me for a while? Yes. So this was in the original game, but this... Like, the scene here and the scene after this, I think are really fucking well done. I really like it. <laughs> I really like it a lot. Just looks like... It's just a gorgeous looking scene. I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Terence says there's nothing beyond the sea. That's a lie. But I believe there must be something over there. Well, where the fuck do you think I came from, love? <laughs> when I discovered you, Link, my heart skipped to be- Oh my god. I thought this person has come to give us a message. If I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. Where did that come from? <laughs> I would fly f to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wished the wind fish, I wonder if my dream will come true. I'm guessing not. <laughs> to be honest, Marin. Hey, are you listening? Link, are you listening to me? You could be. Uh, that would be an asshole. I wasn't listening. I always listen, Marin. I want to know everything about you. Oh my. Uh, uh. <laughs> like I, said, I really like this scene. It's really nice. Huh? The walrus wants me to go with, to him? Well, alright. Let's go. Damn it. Link, you ruined your romantic moment song. I love this. You got married. Is this your big chance? I love that. It's kind of cool that she runs behind you, though. And something that's kind of cool here is, I think this only happens when Marin's walking alongside you. You get a different version of the, Ze the Zelda theme. This kind of really awesome and nice version of the theme. Nice cutscene. Um, basically, oh, I should read it. This is my first foot. This is my first walk with you, Link. <laughs> This cliff will be our secret place. Oh, so sweet. It's not that secret though, to be honest. Aren't you going to say anything? Sorry, I'm a mute. <laughs> I can't say anything back, Marin. Much as I'd want to. Yeah, but that's it for this part. Um, I was just going to say, basically that scene is a remnant from the uh, Link's Awakening DX version where you could take photographs 
And one of the photographs you could take was you standing with Marin on the cliff. And so they kept that little scene in there as just so, the, you know, uh, as a reference to that. So you can actually still have that, you know, have a scene on the cliffside with Marin. That's, it's a really nice scene, actually. There's a couple of scenes I really love. But anyway, <clears throat> that's it for this part of Link's Awakening. Join me next time. Uh, we'll be heading back to Animal Village with Marin. Uh, we'll be awakening Mr. Walrus, the fat prick. <laughs> and we'll be getting the key for the next dungeon. So I'll see you for the next part of... Yeah. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Damn it. <laughs> see you next time.